I ordered myself a sample of Stefan Humbert Lucas's God of Fire. I have never smelt this fragrance before. This is first impressions. We're going to see if this fragrance is any good because this has had loads of hype. We're going to see what the fuss is all about. good YouTube hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back my name is Mikey Cologne and if you're tuned in as always thank you very much for doing so it does mean a hell of a lot that is right I got my pause on a sample of God of Fire from Stefan Humber Lucas I don't know if you can see that or not this is a one mil sample I've been eager to see what this fragrance is all about I do not know none of the notes. I don't even think I have seen a review of this in the past. And I don't like to look at other reviews for a few reasons. I don't want anything to sway me to a direction if I don't think it smells the way someone else is talking about it. And I like to go in blind. I think it's the best way possible just to see what I get, then I'll look up the notes. But before I get going, if you are a fan, or not a fan, if you just enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button. It is completely free. Press the bell because it will notify you when I drop a review. And if you have tried God of Fire from the house of Stefan Humbert Lucas, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of the fragrance. I'm going to get straight into it. I ain't going to waste any of your time. I'm going to go on test strip. And I'm going to go on skin just to see how it reacts. Can't smell nothing yet. Priming the little atomizer. A couple of sprays on a test strip. We're going to go one on skin. A couple on skin. See what this is all about. Quite sweet. Tropical. Fruity. Right, quite is neon completely different on test strip to them what it is on skin. Same sort of profile, scent profile. Right on test strip, it's citrusy, fruity. It's a little bit sweet. It's a bit woodsy. It's got a little bit of freshness to it. It's bright. It's very bright. Now. On skin, I'm getting something zesty and zingy and spicy. I'm getting more fruit and then the citrus on my skin. Whereas on test strip, I'm getting citrus, then a little bit of a fruity nuance. On skin, the fruit is more present than what that citrusy touch is on test strip. Definitely woodsy. This is a happy fragrance. Like this is, I think this is a little bit flirty, if you ask me. It's got a fun side to it. It's got a fruity, citrusy, fresh, fun side to it. It's also musky on my skin, whereas I can't really detect no musk on the test strip. And now, right, and I know what you spray on test strip, is what everybody else smells when they test the fragrance on test strip. I understand that, but skin, it, this is completely different. I'm getting a very little bit of spice on test strip, a very little bit. On skin, I'm getting a zing. I'm getting quite a big bit of spice on skin. Yeah, this is very nice. There's something, there's... There's something a little bit unripped. It's got a little bit of a sour twang to it. And then on test strip, it's flat. It's literally flat on test strip. Like there doesn't seem to be any development at all on the test strip. Literally, the only thing that's happened is that it's calmed down. 
Now the woods, this is definitely a woodsy fragrance as well. The woods are now becoming more present. That citrus and fruity nuance has calmed down, but still on my skin, that fruity nuance is overshadowing the citrusy side of things. This is very nice. It doesn't smell anything. If you're thinking of Ebba Pura from the House of Zerzhov, it doesn't smell like that at all. This is this is fruity, this is citrusy, this is woodsy, this is spicy. Whereas Ebba Pura, I'm not even saying that right. Whereas Ebba Pura, potato patata, is full on fruity. This isn't, there's a lot more going on with this. I know for a fact what's in this or I know for a fact that there's ginger in this fragrance. It is what's giving it that zing up top. But now that's starting to calm down. Test strip, seriously, the test strip is no good. But I'm gonna look up the notes. Do I like this fragrance? This is a solid, solid fragrance. It smells very nice, it's of quality. You can tell that it's niche. Definitely tell that it's niche. It's smooth. Even the spice, even that zing, everything's coming across smooth, well-rounded. There is a nice bit of freshness to this, definitely. Like, this is not a dark fragrance at all. This is, like I say, it's playful, fun. It's a little bit flirty. It's lively. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. It's not um, sickly sweet or too frighteningly sweet. It's none of that. Like, the sweetness is well done. They've or it looks like they've made it to where it doesn't become overbearing. This might be too much on hotter days though, like especially at opening. I do not know how it's gonna settle down yet, hence why this is called First Impressions. But that opening, it's citrusy, but I think that mixed in with the fruity quality and the sweetness that this does have, I think on a hot day, I think it might become cloying. That's my own personal opinion. But scent profile wise, it's very nice. Right, I'm gonna go on Stefan Humbert Lucas's website and see if we can get the notes on there. Gorgeous looking bottle as well. Obviously, you know that by now, when you're watching this, there will be a picture of the bottle up on screen. You will see it. I know I don't have the full presentation, but the thing is sometimes, I like doing samples, I like doing first impressions. Right, you got mango, lemon, pink berries and ginger up top. Could tell the ginger, maybe the berries is what's giving it that. It's kind of sour, a little bit bitey, not um, off-putting by any means, but it's got a little bit of bite to it. You got blue cumarin, jasmine and dry woods in the mid and then in the base is oud, Nagamartha, which is, I believe, Cypriol oil, and you've got musk and amber. I knew one got the musk, or I got the musk near on straight away. I think the more this sits on my skin anyway, it is gonna turn a lot more musky. The mango, I didn't know it was mango. To me, it does come across as fruity. The lemon, the citrus, right, the kumarin, now, this, I am picking up on an ever so slight herbal quality or a faint herbal touch to this fragrance, lingering way in the back. That might be the Kumarin, but this fragrance might warm up as it dries down and the Kumarin could do that along with the amber, plus it'll probably turn, or it might turn from fresh spicy to warm spicy. I don't know, or it might just stay fresh all the way through. The oud, I'm not getting any. This fragrance does have a woody aroma to it, but it's got dry woods in it as well. This is a nice fragrance. This is a solid, solid fragrance. If you would ask me what I would, if you would ask me what would I rate this out of 10? Now the mango. Now you can tell it's mango. I would give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. I'm not in love with it, but 
I think it's an extremely well done, very nice fragrance. This has got a timeless DNA to it, whereas just by the way it comes across with the fruits and the citruses and the woods, like even in 10 or 20 years time, this wouldn't be outdated. It's just got that scent profile to it, but I would give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. Very, very nice, don't get me wrong, but it just isn't wowing me. And remember, this is my own personal opinion on doing the first impressions. If you love this fragrance, that is fair enough, and I can see why, because it is very nice, but it's just not a love for me. Would I buy a bottle of this? I would definitely buy a bottle of it. This is full bottle worthy, in my own personal opinion, but it's just not a knockout of the park. And the way the bottles look, the colour of this bottle is gorgeous and it's got a snake face on it. Yeah, it's sick. It does look sick. And I failed to mention, this is my first fragrance from the house of Stefan Humber Lucas that I've ever tried. And it is good first impressions. Very good first impressions. Right, people, that is my first impressions on God of Fire from the house of Stefan Humber Lucas. Like I say, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the fragrance. Do you own it? Have you smelt it? And what else is worth checking out in his house? I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for the support. And remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I'll definitely see you lot on the next one. Cheers.